Hey there, Scorpios, and welcome to your weekend. Love eyes, love eyes, love eyes. Welcome to your weekend. Love eyes, love eyes, love eyes. Welcome, welcome, welcome to your weekend. Love eyes, love eyes, love eyes. Scorpio, welcome to your weekend. Love vibes here. Uh, and shout out to all of the beautiful, amazing Scorpios of the world. Uh, I know somebody don't like for me to sing, but I mean, <laughs> when your light is shining, aren't you supposed to let your light shine, Scorpios? So Scorpios, welcome to your weekend. Love vibes and let your shine shine on, Scorpios. It seems like, you know, the energies want to stagnate and uh, suppress your light because they need to elevate their life from within, okay? So don't let nobody dim your light, honey. This is pre-Scorpio season and you're supposed to be stunting all over your enemies with your light. You know, you can tell where people are spiritually by your light. You're either going to motivate people or you're going to trigger people, Scorpio. So don't find it strange if you're in your own little lit up light, Scorpio pre-season business life doing your own beautiful angelic thing and people are uncomfortable around you just because you exist. And the reason why is because of that light, baby. Scorpio's got that Scorpio light that is shining through the BS, it's shining through the obstacles, it's shining through your way, it's shining to your paradise and even the desires of your heart. You, Scorpio, are an earth angel and don't let nobody try to dim your light or keep you on their level. Some people may be trying to pull your energy down because of their uh, unhappiness. But, you know, as we know, as well, uh, spiritually empowered Scorpios, that we are the light. We have uh, intuition. You know, we have spiritual gifts and spiritual power, Scorpios. And we know that we can co-create our reality. We know that we are our own best healers. So for somebody, it's time for you to heal, baby, and elevate your light so that you don't find yourself running around here trying to dim other people's light because the lack of work in your own life. And that is Scorpio's 101 message for this weekend. Love eyes, love eyes, love eyes, yeah. <laughs> So, yes, yeah, Scorpios, we are vibing in this pre-Scorpio season because we can and because it's about pre-Scorpio season. Shout out to the Libras. Just in case, I know my Scorpios are dealing with air signs, Aquarius. Um, that's what I've been seeing. I've seen Leo. So, shout out to you, Scorpios, and whoever you may be involved with at this time. So let's see what energy you're operating in. Shout out to my beautiful Scorpio members. Uh, you can also join me on Patreon. If you're new, welcome, welcome, welcome to Only Scorpios page. This is a Only Scorpios community. Every once in a while, somebody passes through, you know, and, and my vibe, maybe, maybe they don't get me. Uh, and that's okay, too. But don't try to tell me not to be me. <laughs> That, that's an insult, Scorpio. If somebody's not accepting you for your lovely self, then the problem is not you, it's them. But if you are new, welcome. I am Brown Eyes here, Brown Eyes Intuitions. And the Scorpio's paradise over here, we are growing, we are evolving, we are learning, we are loving, and we are appreciating over here. And if this seems like a place where you feel like you can get some type of spiritual food, because I'm only here to bring you uh, confirmation and clarity, I in no way, form, or fashion can live your life. I just can't because I got to live mine too. But I can help you and inspire you along the way, okay? Along this beautiful, amazing Scorpio's journey here, Scorpio's. All right, Spirit, what's going on for my beautiful Scorpio's? Okay, you got two, three. Okay, I'm going to take all three of these. We're pulling from your fortune energy, Scorpio. So shout out to you. You see my little thing, thing. Yeah, I went and worked out today. And uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm just making sure my light shines. And I didn't know it, it offended some people, but it's okay. <laughs> I'm still going to be me because that's all I know to be. If you follow my beginning videos, I've always sung. I've always been giddy because I am a giddy energy. And that's just who I am. And for the right person, I am a gift. And for the wrong person, I am a trigger. <laughs> all right, Scorpio, you have Cracker again. And I just shuffled these babies. So Cracker, 
You got this vibrant energy again. See, this is what some of y'all need to get out that, that, that old sad energy, that old mad energy and, and crack it because you ain't going to attract nobody. You're going to scare them all. They're going to be like, God dang, little mama's so pretty, but I'm scared to say something. <laughs> she ignoring me and things. Scorpio, look, only you could, could make your life uh, where, where, where you're happy in it. It says positive. See, it's your attitude well, is what describes you. See, it ain't me. It's you. So as a man thinking in his heart, so is he. So it's time to work on that inner man and stop trying to find fault in everybody else when you need to be working on yourself. And that's for the collective of Scorpio, even for the cross watchers, because that's the only way your relationship going to be sound with Scorpio. You got to work on yourself first. So it says positive energy surrounds you Scorpio love joy and good fortune await see see that some of y'all about to be tr tremendously elevated in every area of your life look here you got unity see there they all came out together so you got the package deal Scorpio get that pre Scorpio season package deal from the universe see there hand in hand here one on the court one on the court two of cups there ain't no third party in here, just two, two, two hands. You don't need no third person. It says a time of divine understanding, renewal, peace, and hope. You radiate and attract great love. But you know the only way you're going to do that is you got to already be in that positive energy. You cannot be searching for love, looking at your glass being dang near dry. No, positivity, you looking for love like your cup is running over it, okay? It's running over it the Scorpio's way, okay? You're going to attract what is in you, Scorpio. So warning, check your temperature, check your own energy because you may be attracting what is already in you. So if you find yourself attracting some duds, then maybe you need to check yourself. And that's what we all have to do. If you find yourself running to some good quality of energy, then maybe that's because you didn't raise your energy. It's as simple as that. See there, Spirit say raise your energy because it's love out here that, that is calling your name, but it's not, it's, it don't know to come to you because you're sending it mixed signals. One day you're cussing at it, you're stumping at it, you're rolling your ass, you're folding your arms, you're blocking this and that and that and this. Universe don't know what to do. So they say, look here, uh, stand up for yourself. Choose power, choose positivity, and watch it come to you, Scorpio. And then this other beautiful, vibrant energy is sun. See? Yeah. Uh, Leo energy. Shout out to the Leos of the world that's been dealing with Scorpios. I already know Leo because uh, both of y'all fixed signs. Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, and Taurus. Ooh, 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 sun card. So this is the highest vibrant energy in this deck in the tarot as well as any. Because you got the sun. Look, look at all this vibrant growth. You see this? I'm picking up Oshun energy. I'm picking up fertility energy, growth, abundance, protection, love, security. It says open your heart, Scorpio. For the enormous it says, I ain't say it. That's what spirit trying to tell you. You got enormous growth because you're just that powerful. But you're going to have to open up to it. It ain't going to force you to take it. It's going to go on to the one who's in line up their energy and this positive vibe. And that's who it's going to go to. So if you don't want to be missed over, if you don't want to miss the, the soul train, okay, maybe you need to elevate your, your thinking here. And it don't mean that everybody's doing it. If you're not doing it, this is what you need to do. If you are doing it, then you are in for a beautiful, magical time in your Scorpio life. You have crack it, crack it, <laughs> cracker. Popping them bottles. I, I hear crystal bottles being popped over here. Firecracker time here. S festive energy. I feel in Mardi Gras energy. Outdoor energy. Uh, weddings. Uh, birthday parties. Outdoor events. Halloween costume parties. Masquerade balls. I'm hearing ball energy. You may be about to get dressed all up and just really... Like, Wow, I, I see carriage, riding in a carriage, you're being pampered, being uh, spoiled. It's like the energy that you are attracting. This is the energy that you may not be used to, because remember, this is enormous growth. So it's superseding than what you're used to having. But in order to get this enormous thing that is not like your old thing, 
You got to put yourself in a position to receive it. And I'm telling you, your attitude makes it all. You can't be running around here thinking low and think it's going to shine on you. It's going to overlook you and go to the one who is already in that vibe and energy because that's what it's all about. But like I said, you got unions. Look at your overall energy over here. You got the two of cups. Your overall energy over here, you got the four of wands. And then the overall energy over here, you got the mother star. She says yes. You got the page of Pentacles. So there is a relationship that is already established for you. It's just almost like you got to do it. Just tweak your energy, align your energy up where it's right. Because it seems like spirit's trying to prepare you for a union. They go to four ones. And they're going to do two of cups. And see, I pre-shuffle my tarot cards before I do your oracles. But you see how I lined up? I, I shuffled your, your, your uh, fortune oracles in front of you. I had already shuffled them. I got the back door open too, so we got that earth energy going on. We grounding ourselves today, Scorpios. Sun energy, see? You hear those ancestors out here talking to you, see? Two of cups, it, it came out like that anyway because this is what's happening for you. But spirit is like your ancestors are letting you know this, Scorpios. And another thing, Scorpio, you know, let's say if you go to church, Let's say if you go to a concert, let's say if you go to a game, some of you may not know this, but I'm, I'm going to help you. This is a helping moment. You know, anytime you're trying to manifest something, you need, it, look, that's just like foreplay. It's really foreplay. It's foreplay it comes in so many different ways here. When I, when I sing in the beginning, when I come on this uh, internet, when I come to you high vibing, I have already been manifesting and evoking that energy before I push play. So you're getting the elevation part because I have already set the atmosphere. I have invoked it, but I don't want no sad ass energy. So I come with the highest energy of them all. And that's love. So when I sing, that's because I have already um, tapped into the energy and what you're getting is your answers in abundance. But you may not be in the position to receive it. So some of you Scorpios are ready for this life. While other Scorpios, you're still needing to um, work on yourself because you want microwave action. And that's not reality. It's almost like you have to sow that seed into the universe so that the universe gives it back to you. Other than that, I'm going to be pulling all types of negative energy. and Your readers are going to be negative. But because I tap into positivity for you, please don't come tell me not to be myself because then I'm going to block you. And I just have to tell you, I'm going to block you whether you are a viewer, a member or a subscriber, because this is for you. But if you're not comfortable with me being myself, then maybe I've done all I can do for you. And that's OK, too. I appreciate you. So the problem is not with brown eyes, light shining. The problem is, is your light need to elevate. That's all. There ain't no need to suppress in me because you need to elevate. Elevate your light and don't try to dim mine because you cannot. So like I said, Scorpio, I've already tapped into this abundant love energy for you because that's the only thing I focus on is the positivity. And once I see negativity, I'm going to disconnect from it. Like I say, it's real because you got the four ones and the two of cups. And it's because I was already tapping into the positive aspect. Because if I come on here sad, you're going to get that. You know it. <laughs> and I guarantee you're going to find some beautiful channeling high vibe and Scorpios reading for you. But you're not going to find brown eyes nowhere but over here brown eyes intuitions. So, all right, you got the four ones. That's your overall energy. Because you got the unity. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I got my sun and shade on looking like something because it's pre-Scorpio season. I'm trying to get you up there. Ooh, now see, see, you don't know the power of invoking, tapping into. You don't want to just rush out. That's just like, like I say, foreplay. You know, you're not now, you know, you got to take your time and love on it and, and, and love on it and, and, and whisper to you. You, you got to start talking to your ancestors. You got to, you, you got to be in that, be in that old Scorpio loving voice and that energy. In order for your day to be good, in order for these things to happen, that's what you have to do. Four ones. Happy, happy days. Yeah. And I be guiding. Now, what is this? Ha, <laughs> see? <laughs> Two of cups. Look, you got it again. See? <laughs> 
See, I tell you, I be trying to get that good energy for you. See, it's for a reason. It ain't just because I'm giddy. It, well, really, it is. That's just me. And I love it because it keeps me from dwelling in negativity. When I choose to focus on positive, then positive things happen for me. Okay? All right. So you got the four ones, and that's what's going to happen for you two. Four ones, two of cups. For Scorpio's weekend, love vibes, love vibes, love vibes. That's your weekend, love vibes, Scorpio's. Four ones, <laughs> two of cups for my beautiful, amazing Scorpio's. The Scorpios of the world who is ready for it. The Scorpios of the world, you've been doing that work. You've been laboring effortlessly, Scorpios, and things are about to get better for you because you, once you change your, your perception to positive, you're not going to have no problem. They're not going to be the same problems, and you're going to learn how to overcome them. All right, Spirit, what's going on for Scorpios for this weekend? Love vibes. All right, Spirit, four of wands, two of cups. Got this soulmate, strong energy here. And see, 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 see what happens, see? See what happens, see? The sun. Didn't I just tell you? Some of y'all dealing with a Leo. See there? See there? When I start tapping into the universe, then I open up the portal for you. And then my answers and my spirit guides come into these readings here. See? See? You got to look at things from a spiritual perspective here, but you got spiritual eyes all on you, though, Scorpio. It's almost like the heavens is watching you to see what you're going to do with all this love. See there? See there? You got your ancestors and, and your, your family before you came down here. Oh, yeah, they looking at you because they say, now, now, Scorpio, now, we know Scorpio is amazing. It is an honor to witness Scorpio on this journey. They talking about you in the heavens, Scorpio. Did you know that? And they said some of y'all down here have forgot who, how powerful you are and you you turn into negative Nancy <laughs> and they say, oh, 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 don't Scorpio know how powerful Scorpio is. We got you. Scorpio. We have never taken our eye off of you. See the sun. See, let me show you again. <laughs> now what that sound say? Now, now, now how that sun hidden for Scorpio again? Let's remind you. It says, open your Scorpio heart to the enormous growth ahead. See, there it is. Uh, 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 there it is. Could be dealing with the Leo, double Leo. See there? It's like they said, is Scorpio going to get this here, love? Or is Scorpio going to go explain it away and negative it, it, T it away? Or are they going to positive it, T it in? <laughs> That's what they said. They look at you like, mm, they, they SMHing. <laughs> They are SMH in pre Scorpio season about you, Scorpio. See, because some of y'all in y'all head, Nine of Swords. He's always in your head, your head. Nine of Swords, you need to let that energy out of your head here. Stop overthinking. Stop trying to control everything because it ain't for you to control. You can't. Ooh, and there go there, the lovers and the Ace of Cups. See? <laughs> Oh, snap, snap, snap. See, I love it. See, I know how to get the right energy around that. Some of y'all may not be ready for it. Don't blame me because you ain't ready for it. I thought you was a Scorpio. <laughs> Ace of Cubs, how's this repetitive, baby? I bring you new, fresh energy every day. Maybe you need to up your way of thinking. <laughs> you can never grow old when it comes to love. I can dissect love, love in so many ways because love <laughs> Look at all this love you have. You have the four ones, the two of cups, the ace of cups, the sun card, and the M and F and lovers card. Not to mention you got the other two of cups right here and the other sun card right here and the other unity card right here. Not to mention your cracker. <laughs> so, 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 so what? Okay, then I'm sitting here. I'm your brother and your sister from the galaxy. And you don't forget. <laughs> I'm just your I'm just your sister, your brother here to remind you of all of the beautiful greatness you have from within uh, that, that will attract the outward stuff to your life. OK, <laughs> I'm just saying <laughs> a turn down for what spirit said, huh? <laughs> you better be trying to turn up <laughs> if you want this. And that's for somebody. I'm just saying, I mean, hey, we're just saying, let's just say page of ones here, message here. Somebody may have a motorcycle. You may pull up somebody and they want you to ride their bike with them. <laughs> Would you ride around the block with me? We're going to go get us an ice cream cone. We're going to get us an ice cream sandwich. We're going to get us an ice cream sundae. 
you can get you something to eat till you ought to try those beautiful BLT club sandwiches <laughs> with those homemade fries that's crispy, those sweet potato fries. Get you a nice little glass of wine on the side or take you a little shot of tequila, son. You know it is pre your season and things. <laughs> it's on me, baby. If you want to take you home a doggy bag, you can too. I want to make sure you eat later too. Ooh, okay. So we're dealing with, I see the Queen of Pentacles. Some of you guys, you're in this Queen of Pentacles energy. Let's take her. Queen of Pentacles, just, it says you got a, a, enormous growth up ahead with the sun energy. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn energy showing up for you. Three of disc, partnerships, uh, doors opening, multiple doors opening for you at once because you remember you got enormous growth, so it's not going to just be one area of your life. It's multiple, multiple, multiple areas of your life, but you got to be you got to be in that positive energy to receive it. Or it's just not going to shine on you. It's going to shine on the one sitting next to you. <laughs> kind of like when you go to the casino and you get out the one machine and you move over, then somebody comes sit behind you and they hit it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> But what is for you is for you. So you got to claim it, but you got to be in the right energy to receive it. OK, and first of all, you're not going to believe this is for you anyway. If you operate in low vibe and energy and then you're going to want to go to point the finger at somebody else. Seven of Cups. Opportunities here. Fantasies coming true. The moon. Pisces underneath the bottom and there go the world. Got the world underneath the bottom. The world, the world, the world. I said the world, the world, the world. So you have the two of cups, the ace of cups, the seven of cups, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. You have the Leo with the sun card. You got the page of wands, the four wands. Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. You have the lovers, Gemini. You have the queen of discs, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn with the three of discs. So let's see, let's see. Like I say, your overall energy is the two of cups here. We ain't gonna make it long. We're gonna make it strong because they always have vibe and energy, but you're not gonna know it's, it's for you because you need to change some things. You need to elevate. See, see, some of y'all finna travel. Some of y'all finna travel. Don't be surprised. Ooh, the magician, Scorpios. You're manifesting this. I feel like your manifesting is working here, Scorpios. Or spirit wants you to know how powerful you really are. See, some of y'all about to go to, you may be about to travel for some type of um, world event. This is a big thing. Somebody may be going to a, a big uh, costume or moray, um, masquerade party. See, you can't even see them. Some of you guys are going to a Halloween party or, or I, I hear masquerade party. Oh, so you may end up meeting somebody. Now, I know this on the side, so it ain't for everybody. Somebody may be about to go to some type of a dress up thing where you're gonna I feel like it's a masquerade ball that's why I felt that's why I heard the Mardi Gras here uh, it reminds me of that that fall you know you know you know how that, that festive energy I feel festive energy around you see it's festive in your energy but you're not gonna see that if you're vibing low see that <laughs> what they say <laughs> underlay underlay I mean it's like they say mama Rita Kachita I mean it's like I'm feeling that okay I'm just feeling that I'm just feeling the outside you know the margaritas the, the tacos and and and, and the memoirs and the the sin sales and the, you know the sangria wines and the um herbs the natural herbs I see a lot of that ganja Somebody may be going to Jamaica, going over there to one of those beautiful countries, and you're going to dress up, and you're going to meet somebody. Ooh, Scorpio. And like I say, this is something somebody has been manifesting. Somebody's either manifesting love, or the person in your life is manifesting you. But I feel like what Spirit is telling you, the world is yours, baby. The world is yours. You can meet people from all over the world. You, some of you guys, you, your life is, you, you're going to manifest something by on, online here. Some of you guys may be online dating and you're going to meet this person face to face here. Ooh, that's scary. But for somebody, it may be exciting here. See there, you, somebody's finally finna reveal they self to you too, Scorpio, or the universe is finally to re, re, finna reveal somebody to you too. Because like I say, you got the lover's card. But that's what I see for you. So like I said, <laughs> overall energy, that that is the two of cups. And I see the Queen of Pentacles. So what's up with this Queen of Pentacles for Scorpios for this weekend love vibe? Love vibe for Scorpios. Weekend love vibes. Queen of Pentacles, why is she here for Scorpios? Could be masculine, feminine, don't matter. This is Scorpios reading. 
<laughs> Ooh, Scorpio, when love comes, yeah, <laughs> you better answer. Six of cups. <laughs> So you got this pack. Ooh, they can't keep their eyes out for you. Somebody looking at you like you marriage material. You know they do because you got the C square. Maybe this is how you're appearing to people. Scorpio, now either you, with this magician card, you could be manifesting the life or the relationship you desire. And they all going to be coming back. I'm talking about the old and the new. It's like. With this unity, you're going to have all types of opportunities coming your way for a unity. You got the seven of cups here. You're going to have your choice to date somebody, but now it's a, it's a good time for you to be open and healed, more grounded, more focused, because this Queen of Pentacles is showing this. You're, you're, you're putting yourself in the position to not to be over emotional. Some of you guys may be focused on your your, your job, your career, you may be about to start something new. You got the Ace of Cups. Maybe you're welcoming in a new child, a new birth, a new project, a new house, a new home. You got the Four of Wands. Some of y'all don't know that you're moving into the season where you're about to be living in the, under the same roof with somebody. I keep see, seeing <laughs> living together energy, okay? You know that Queen of Pentacles is the ideal person for that, don't you? So you, you're looking like, see, Scorpio, look, you know, the colder it gets, the more uh, attractive you're going to start being to people because the Queen of Pentacles, she, she's a good home person. She takes care of the, you know, the Queen of Pentacles is loyal. She, she takes care of things. It's almost like she, you got to worry about her emotions getting in the way. She's going to, she's going to do what's best for everybody. And this Queen of Pentacles, she's a good, this is what you call your help meet here. This is your soulmate, your two of cups, your partnership. She's the right energy to be in. Now, you may be having people now that because it is Scorpio's preseason, we know it's a leave. We know it's about you. I'm just saying it's attracting people because now they're looking at you like, God dang, Scorpio, I, I, didn't, I, I never looked at you like this before. Somebody from your past and somebody new is looking at you like, you know what? I cannot believe it. I, I, you're what I feel like I need in my life. Everything about you, the way you comb your head, the way you, the way you chew, the way you breathe, the way you look. That's what I need right there. I need me, you. <laughs> they say they need them some you. <laughs> oh, they say they're going to be love at first sight. You got the page of swords with the six of cups. All right, what's up with this queen of pentacles? What I feel like is coming your way. <laughs> Are you ready? Strength card. And somebody may be trying to resist you. Ooh. Or somebody's trying to stand in the courage to. Or maybe somebody looking at you like you are very, very strong and powerful. And they could easily see something long term with. Uh, 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 uh. We got the money, honey, honey, money in here. Because you got the Ace of Cups and they go to Ten of Pentacles. Could be a Leo. You got strength card. Look, who would think it could be a Capricorn? Somebody may be obsessing over you in your life here too, Scorpio. Somebody may be watching you trying to see, uh, how you do that there. Scorpio, Scorpio, well, how you do it? Somebody may be trying to figure out how, how, how you in this Queen of Pentacles energy. How are you paying your bills? How are you maintaining? I don't feel like it's wrong. I don't feel like anything is wrong, but, but, but they don't know that behind the scenes you're manifesting this. See, somebody may be trying to figure out how you're doing, but if, 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 if they're not trying to figure out how you live in your lifestyle, then it's somebody that's interested in you that looks upon you like you everything they could ever want. All right. What's up? This four of wands from a Scorpio's four of wands, clarify the four of wands, twin flame, uh, celebratory energy, um, commitment, celebration time here. Four of Wands for Scorpio. Spirit Wise is Four of Wands here. Seven of Staffs. Somebody here is, somebody here is, I feel like somebody here is confident. Ace of Pentacles. Three of Wands, Knight of Pentacles. Somebody's wanting to come to you. 
I feel like this is somebody here that's watching you and they may be looking at, you could be having somebody trying to come to you with some type of job opportunity here. And you may not, you may not be trusting it because you may be in a position where you're already getting things done. So you may not feel the need to hurry up and invest with somebody. Somebody may be coming in. To, some of y'all may have an opportunity to either move into something better or buy your own place with this four of wands, seven of wands, and the ace of wands, ace of pentacles here. Some of you guys are relocating and moving to another home. You may be moving to a new, new country here too. See, but somebody got their eye on you. That's what I figured. The knight of wands, see? Somebody's very, very passionate about you. And somebody may be pushing upon you, a very, very passionate. I feel like somebody is going to be flirting with you. I feel like a lot of flirt energy is here. I feel like you may be out. For some of you guys, you're going to end up, for some of you guys, you may be house hunting here. And you're, and you're the person here who, who is showing you the houses, they're going to be fine to you. They're going to be hitting on you too. <laughs> somebody, real estate person, going to hit on them. <laughs> All right, four ones with the knight of wands for Scorpio. What's going on here? See, the fool card. See, you're going to flirt back. <laughs> I feel like you ain't going to know how to take it at first because you probably ain't going to believe they really hitting on you, but you're going you're gonna to catch on. Cause they, I feel like they're they going to let you know. See, <laughs> that a queen of pentacles is. See, see, <laughs> queen of pentacles, ace of swords. Seven of Pentacles, you may realize that this is a place that you might want to invest in, too. It may end up being very, very lucrative with the Ten of Pentacles, see? Some of y'all may go into some type of financial uh, uh, partnership with somebody, and it's going to bring a lot of abundance to you. Some of y'all may have a one-night stand with a real estate <laughs> person. They're going to take you to see their house, and you know one thing going to lead to another. You know, they, they, oh, okay, Two of Cups. Why the Two of Cups here for Scorpios? <laughs> Y'all going to really partake in the Scorpio season, huh? <laughs> two of Cups. <laughs> Why is the Two of Cups showing up for Scorpios? <laughs> oh, snap. Two of Cups for the Scorpios. See? Ooh, see? <laughs> two of Cups. See, this is real. The lovers can get away from their loving energy. See there? <laughs> see? Two of Cups and the lovers card. Again, because you already got it over here. See, the lovers, doom, 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 talking about Scorpio's leather, yeah, two of cups in the love, ooh, they finna come in here and sweep you, ooh, <laughs> you ain't ready for this, are y'all, some of y'all ain't know y'all ain't ready for this, you, you just want to be entertained when if you get on the right frequency, do that work, you can have it, two of cups, the lovers, the Knight of Cups. They go that King of Pentacles. I said they go that King right there. I said the King of Pentacles coming in here to put that there work in. I said you're gonna like it how they do it right there, cause they wanted to throw their money in the air and they ready to put that work in. Look, the Eight of Pentacles with the Nine of Cups. They gonna make you happy. Ooh. Hoo -hoo -hoo. So let me show you something. <laughs> let me show you something real quick. Let me show you something. <laughs> like I say, somebody trying to come in here and put their work in. Okay? Because obviously, while they're watching you and observing your life or something about you, asking folks about them, they say, God dang, look, mom over here. I feel like we can create a power couple. There it is. Somebody said that y'all can, somebody say they are, they good by they self. Oh yeah, don't get it twisted. Oh yeah, they, they got it going on. They said, but as they began to notice you, uh, they realized that maybe this is a power couple that, uh, uh, that they need to put that work in uh, and, 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 and set it off with. Scorpio, y'all got that set it off energy. Y'all know Blue Boosie, <laughs> Scorpio. Hashtag Scorpio in there, set it off. <laughs> you got to set it off, set it off, set it off. You got to set it off, I set it off. You got to set it off. Somebody say y'all can set it in and nothing off, god dang it. So don't try to dim my life, raise your light because you can set it off, okay? 
All right, shout out to Boosie. <laughs> he is Scorpio. Scorpio pre-season, Boosie. Go and hit that cash app on it. <laughs> Go and hit that cash app of I'm just saying. But check it out, Scorpio. Y'all in that set it off energy. And this is how this King of Pentacles is going to approach you. First of all, they're going to be extremely, extremely attracted to you. So some of you guys, this is somebody here who you're already dating, but it hasn't gotten to that level. There is just a strong connection here. There is a strong potential of a very, very lucrative divine partnership in this two of cups, as well as a soul contract and a physical attraction as well with that there, the lover's card. Not to mention this person here is, we say, I'll be a gentleman, baby. If you want me to hold you tight, try me uh, for life. I'll be a gentleman, Scorpio. Or as males, I'll be a lady, Scorpio. See? Ain't that a gentleman? King of Pentecost with the Knight of Cups. Coming in here to put that that work in. They said, baby, you ain't gotta don't 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 break no nail, baby. Don't 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 you dare. Oh oh oh, the earth would defile me if I let you break a fingernail, baby. <laughs> this your weekend, love eyes, love eyes, love eyes. Somebody coming in here to give you a unity, child. <laughs> and they putting that work in. They putting that work. <laughs> Y'all wouldn't believe, some of y'all not even going to believe that you're about to be married to somebody here, Scorpios. You don't even see it. Ooh, you don't see it. And spirits say shame on you because you're supposed to be tapped in to know all this beautiful energy that you already have. Some of you guys are about to celebrate here. You're about to be in a season of happy, happy, happy. But all you got to do is just turn that light on, Scorpios. I write the sun for Scorpios. Why is the sun here? At the sun card, the sun card for Scorpio's Leo energy, illumination, happiness, abundance, children, fertility, growth. Why is the sun card showing up for Scorpio? Ooh, ooh, because they don't play about you, baby. They go to that emperor. <laughs> Ain't that the growth? That's wisdom. Ooh, see there, Scorpio, it's time for you to get back all the good you have done for the world. They go justice, see, rep, rep, uh, uh, <laughs> reciprocation, justice, balance, 50, 50 love, but in their case, 60, 40, <laughs> you only got to have 40. They got the 60, okay? Ooh, Scorpio, this is the, here they go, here they go, here they go, here they go. Here they come, here they come, here they come, here they come. Three of cups, see? This may be somebody here you, you're going to start dating newly for some of y'all. Don't come for me. You may even be dating your boss. <laughs> dating, your, dating your boss on the down low. Y'all going to be keeping that on the down low and everybody realize that you keep on, you keep on getting bonuses. You keep, you keep winning, the, <laughs> you keep winning the, the, the office games and, 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 and you just been there a year and, and now they got you a personal parking space. And, and somebody say, how you keep on getting roses delivered to you and, and, and why you get to go in the boss's office and, and, and how, how, how you get to do that. That's for somebody, okay? As others, you finna date a boss here, okay? Like I said, this may not even be nobody that you know. It's just representing the strong connections in the spiritual realm that you are attracting because you are that yourself. So you have to be it in order for it to be in your life. If you vibe and low, you're gonna attract the low, and it ain't personal. It, it ain't. It ain't. <laughs> look, it ain't no math to it. It's just what it is. It's it's plain and simple. So that's why it's important. Let me re remind you of what this card says to you, Scorpios, because I take this message for me, too. I'm not the one here. Just, I'm not trying to act like I'm trying to school you or nothing like that. I'm just telling you what I see spiritually because it applies to me, too, because I'm a Scorpio. And I've learned some things based on seeing this energy because I had to do it. I, I, I can be ugly. I can show the ugly side of me. I've done that. I do that sometimes because I'm human. But I also know how to change it. See, that, that, that's, that's the most important thing. It, it ain't about uh, the mishaps. 
It's about what you're going to do in it. Are you going to succumb to it and get worse? Or are you going to use that as leverage and elevate from it? And I feel like that's what it's applying to you. You got a beautiful uh, possibilities always around you. But sometimes your energy may not be to the place where you could actually believe that you can have it or that it's real, but you identify with everything else that you deal with in life. So you might as well go on and manifest the light. At least it, it, it should not happen because you're not doing it. It's time for you to stand in your power and take your power back and take control over your life and let your light shine, Scorpio, so that you can attract this. So once again, it says positive energy. You see your answers out there talking to you here. They hear you, spirit of light and love, <laughs> of war, victory, of justice. It says positive energy surrounds you. Love, joy and good fortune await. Look, love, joy, and good fortune is not going to await you if you're not in positive energy. But see, the positive energy, this is what comes with it, okay? So now you have the lover's card. Let's see what's going on here. Gemini energy. You got that Gemini energy. You got Gemini, Gemini, Aries, Libra, Gemini, Gemini. You got, you got, it, uh, every, you got, you got everything, 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 honey. All right, the lovers for Scorpios. Why is the lovers here? Thank you guys so much for your support. I appreciate you guys. Really, really, I do. Judgments. Spiritual awakening here. See, it's time now that these uh, soulmate unions are waking up, y'all. They're waking up. This is why they've been so toxic because everybody <laughs> been asleep to it, you know. Everybody just been just been doing the same old thing, you know, and thinking that it's normal until somebody's realizing that, wow, it's a better way. It's a different way out here. But it's all about divine timing. You know, everybody, everybody has their own season for everything under the sun here. And I do feel like depending on the energy that you're operating in, it's going gonna, it's gonna to determine how long it's going to take for it to manifest. If you keep on thinking positive, then you, you're, you're distracted and you're making it. See, but for some of y'all, eight of wands, things are moving fast. Things are going to move fast for you. The lover, see, came out again. Now, I can't help it because it came out again. Now, no, 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 no. We're clarifying the lovers. And up here, you got the two of cups with the lovers with the king of pentacles and the knight of cups and the eight of pentacles, okay? You got your, ooh, Scorpio, Scorpio, see that? And you know what it's all about. It's all about you, baby. You ain't in the cups, you're in this pentacles. It's time for you to get your shine and your money on, it seems like, because the queen of pentacles is showing up. Or what, yeah, you got the ten of pentacles? So spirit is saying you have not because you manifest not for somebody. And it's all because your mind needs to be positive. Your mind is positive. You can manifest. I don't care what it looks like. Baby. You're going to have to do that. Y'all, this queen and this king keep on coming up. See, ace of swords. Spirit said that's the truth. Or somebody is gaining clarity about you. See, see, ace of cups for Scorpios. Why is the ace of cups here for my beautiful, amazing Scorpios? Ace of Cups, ooh, Ace of Cups, Ace of Cups, baby, baby, yeah. Somebody gonna have twins. <laughs> I should have said that, huh? Yes, I said, I mean, somebody gonna have twins. It may not be you. Maybe it's your grandchild. Maybe it's your daughter, sister, brother. Maybe it's you. Ace of Cups, Ace of Cups. You got, you got love, love, love. You got so many opportunities. So you got the Ace of Pentacles. You got the Ace of Cups, Ace of Cups. Got the sun card. You got a lot of love around you, Scorpios. Do you know this? Why is the Ace of Cups here for Scorpios? <laughs> of course. Of course. See? See, 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 Scorpio, of course. There you go, baby. See? <laughs> Didn't I just say somebody going to have twins? <laughs> See? Somebody going to have twins or somebody just going to have a, one baby, okay? You hit the ace of cups, ace of cups are pulled again. They go to the emperor. Somebody, gonna, somebody got multiples. Somebody may have multiple twin flame or soulmate relationships that are in, that's in your energy. Some of y'all uh, do have an attachment to two soulmates right now. Ace of Cups and the Empress, Libra energy. Y'all know you got the Emperor already down here. You got the King and the Queen of Pentacles. This, this is that uh, boss material uh, world, Scorpio's connection here. So this must be somebody here who's focusing on their uh, 
focusing on their, their money, their finances. See, somebody know you the one for them. They know that that's where they want to plant them seeds at Ace of Swords, Seven of Pentacles here. Why? Because somebody, this boss over here been enlightened here. <laughs> Whoever this here boss is, they've been enlightened. They go to hermit card. Some of y'all dealing with the Virgo. Wow. That's why you got the sun card next to the emperor. See, let me show you. Somebody say, you the one for them, honey. But you know your energy, your light has to be shining in order for them to recognize you. Okay? It's almost like don't go under the radar script. Some of you guys are hidden from your soulmate here, your real true love, the one that's really going to do right by you. You're, you're hiding from them because your vibration and your light is dim. Yeah, that, that's what spirit is telling me. See, because this is your person. You see what's bringing them. It's the light. So now don't ever dim your light. And that's why it's so crucial. When you're in positive energy, this is what you're going to be attracting. But when you're in dark energy, it's not going to happen. But see, the emperor next to the sun card, next to the justice, next to the three of cups. This is somebody here who is looking for a wholesome, healthy relationship that you're on one accord that you can build something together. OK, so this is the beginning stage. I feel like this is somebody here who may want, is ready to date. They're looking for the right connection. And when they see you, when they see you, Scorpios, when they see you, Ace of Cups, they're going to see love. They're going to know instantly that it's you, the same energy, which is the queen of pentacles, because they're king of pentacles. See there? They said, this is where I need to make my investments at, because you're dealing with somebody here who is, who is either tapped in spiritually or they're not too proud where they cannot connect spiritually. Either they're doing a lot of praying or they got a lot of wise people around them. But this is somebody here who knows a good thing when they see it, because they're wise, okay? Not to mention, you got the mama and the daddy. It's it, y'all. Whoever this is for, this connection going. You gonna have a ball with this person. That's why I said I can see a a a carriage. You know, a ball carriage. Somebody. You know, like where they do carriage rides at. Why? You know, I just feel that a masquerade party. You somebody's gonna get dressed up. And y'all going to go out there, y'all going to be out there stepping. <laughs> step, step, step round and round, slipping down, percolate, and show me what to do. The love song. Everybody step, step, this, the steps. <laughs> Keep on stepping. Why? <laughs> in the name, y'all finna go step in the name of love, God dang it. <laughs> Scorpio. Y'all about to go step in the name of love. Are you ready? Y'all probably too bougie for that, honey. Well, you might as well get off your bougie this because you got somebody here who is going to wind and down you and take good care of you, see? And somebody may end up conceiving from this or something is going to grow. You remember the son said that, see, Scorpio, it says you, uh, you got enormous growth around you. That's what it's saying in the sun card. You got the sun card next to the emperor. Don't you see this? This ain't for nobody here who, who's still on the porch. Now, if you're still on the porch, you don't need to be saying nothing. These are the ones here who live in their life. God dang it. This what you got around you. Now, it don't matter if you're male or female because you got them both here. See, this is what they see in you. This opportunity that, that they are going to take. You know they're going to take it because you got the judgment card. Could have been somebody. See, like I say. This person probably been out here looking for the right relationship or the right connection, the three of cups, the emperor with the sun card. You got the lover's card. Judgment here. Eight of wands and the two of cups. I feel like this is this person deciding this is this person may have dated in their life, but it's not working for them. So now somebody is ready to embark on a serious relationship. And when they see you may, may have been out of all of the people they have encountered in their life or dated in their life. You're the one that's going to stand out, Scorpio, because your light is on. OK, if your light ain't on, you're not going to attract this. See, you're going to attract them to you and they're going to know that you're the right place to invest and build with. Because they have been doing the spiritual work to know. This is why you got the judgment card here with the lovers. Three of cups. They probably could have had their choice of anybody. After all, oh, you're dealing with a boss, king of pentacles. But like I said, they finna come uh, finesse, finesse, dazzle, dazzle you. See? 
This person want to make sure they got the right one before they start opening up their life to them, before they start putting their work in. But with you, they already see this. See, let me remind you. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Queen of Pentacles, God dang it. Six of Cups, this is somebody here who, now for some of y'all, could be somebody from your past, but others, they just going to feel this connection. See, Page of Swords, it's like they see you, you, you're just the one. It's like they're illuminated. It doesn't matter anyway whether you, uh, 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 what they know about you, whether somebody from your past or not, they're going to recognize this Six of Cups because of the Sun card, because of the spiritual work this person's been doing, because they're ready to take their, their life to a higher level of commitment here, okay? Somebody here who's ready to get married, I feel like, okay? So when they see you, Queen of Pentacles, Six of Cups, Page of Swords, they're going to see this. They say that this is a very, very strong connection here. We can do some things, God dang it. That's what they're saying. That's what they're going to say, Scorpio. Somebody, <laughs> this ain't no little kid stuff. This, 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 ain't, this ain't no little, no little kid's energy right here. So if you're not in a mature, grown adult energy, then this ain't for you. This is for grown folks who trying to marry. You got the king and the queen of Pentacles. You got the ten of Pentacles. You got grown folks business here. This is grown folks stuff, okay? So if you're not on that grown folks stuff, this ain't for you. Because this is what this person on. They looking to marry somebody. See? Let me show you with the emperor again. <clears throat> the sun card. The emperor. Justice. And the four of the three of cups. This is what this emperor on. They've been enlightened here. About you. They're looking for love. You know they are. Because see, there's somebody here who's finna change some things. See the king of pentacles. They offering their love. See the cup. They're ready for love now. So when they see you, your light. This cup is lit. God dang it. This is a divine Scorpio's cup. Okay? Bam. There it is. See there? They're going to automatically know. You ain't, got to, you ain't got to convince them. God dang it. They're going to come in knowing. Ace of Swords. That this is where they plant their roots at because spirit has already led them there. All right. All right. Let's let's continue on then. God dang it. Let's get this good energy. <laughs> so now you have the page of wands. Page of wands for Scorpio. Why the page of wands? Here could be getting some type of communication. This could be somebody here who you knew once upon a time, but 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 they wasn't ready for what you wanted here. They're ready for it now. Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries for Scorpio's Weekend Love Vibes. Pay of uh, the Tower card. Some of y'all ain't ready. <laughs> some of y'all about to get the some of y'all about to get the shock of y'all life dealing with this person here. See, Ten of Cups, because you never ever thought that you would get this. Either this is from somebody that you know, or this is a shock from everybody in their community because they never thought this person would settle down here. See. But somebody is, somebody could be traveling. You remember your other reading, you had the King of Pentacles with the Cherry card. Somebody is coming off the road. Somebody, somebody owns their own business, whether, whether it's a trucking company or what. But yeah, this person ready to settle down here. Some of y'all got somebody coming in from out of the state or out of the country just to see you face to face. Or you're going to meet this person. But some of y'all is somebody that you know from your past while others. This is a new, extremely deep soulmate connection that is entering into your life. It's going to be somebody new, okay? All right, three of pentacles. Why is the Three of Pentacles showing up for my Scorpio? Six of Pentacles, partnership. I tell you, they got the Two of Cups so many, many times over here. Queen of Pentacles, you got the King of Pentacles, you got the uh, Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. The Sun card, Ace of Pentacles, Knight of Swords. Somebody, see, somebody got their eye on you now. Now this is somebody here who is determined. See, this is somebody here who knows what they want. <laughs> the higher fence, see. <laughs> oh, this is somebody here who is ready to live this life. Now that they know what they want. See, anytime you make up your mind for what you want, then the mountains move. But that indecisiveness, that doubt, that, that's the hindrance. Somebody know what they want coming into your life, Scorpio. I hope you're ready for this. So now you got the Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups, Four of Pentacles. <clears throat> now this could be somebody here who was out here looking for relationships. Because after all, you do have the emperor with the justice and the three of cups. There's somebody out here who dated. 
Yeah, they dated because they wasn't ready to settle down yet. And they hadn't found the special one. You're going to be the special one for this person here, Scorpio. See? So like this person is holding back from all of the other people that they used to date. Seven of Cups, Four of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles. Because see, like I said, they weren't looking for nothing much. King of Wands in the reverse here. You, some of y'all, if this is somebody from your past, Scorpio, little do you know you done changed this person. And once again, I see this energy where you, maybe you have grown on them. Maybe the idea of settling down with you, Scorpio, has grown on them because it is time, okay? It's part of your destiny to be in a union. For some of y'all with this person, you got the Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, you got the Emperor, the Empress, the King of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, okay? And you got the King, I, and you got the King, the, like I say, you're the, you're the only queen over here. Queen of Pentacles, you see how you're showing up? But it's almost like you, it's almost like spirit is bringing you love. Spirit is putting you in a place where you're not overbearing by your emotions because you're going to have so much love around you. So you don't need to, you don't have the need to always be validated. That's why you're in the queen of pentacles because you look at the two of cups. Let me just point out all your cups here. You have the two of cups, the knight of cups, three of cups. Two of Cups, Ace of Cups, the Cherry at the Tower, Seven of Cups. Okay, so all of those, Cancer, Scorpion, Pisces, look at all that love. You got the Ten of Cups. Did I see you got the Ten of Cups? And you got all these Two of Cups. So you're going to have love all around you, not to mention this Ace of Cups. So this is why you're not showing up in the, in the King and the Queen of Cups, because between the two of you, you're going to have all this love together around you. So there's no need to validate to each other emotionally because you're going to be engulfed in it pretty much. So this seems like this is, is the focus on your earthly blessings, your earthly gifts because of this energy that you're in. It's almost like if you're if you're raising your vibration, Scorpio, your energy is no longer a prisoner to your emotions. You've been liberated. You've been set free because you got this earth energy that's surrounding you now, especially with your energy showing up in the Queen of Cups. See? Yep. That's beautiful, Scorpio. But like I said, Scorpios. Love surrounds you. And I, I, I love surrounds this divine love union that is surrounding you, Scorpios. You have a phenomenal, phenomenal love energy all around you. Are you ready for it? All right, Scorpio, this is your weekend love vibes, love reading. If it resonates, please like, share and subscribe. I love you guys so much. Consider subscribing to this channel. So consider becoming one of my members. Thank you so much for your support. I love each and every one of you, Scorpios. And I will be going live sometime this weekend, either Friday night or Saturday night, depends. Uh, but I love you guys. Make sure you hit your post notification bell to all so that you never miss any of my pre uh, newly uploaded videos or any time I decide to go live. Because in this month, in October, I'm just going to be going. I'm putting much content out here for the season of, of Scorpio, which is October and November. I'm really going to be pushing out a lot of Scorpios readings. So if you want to be, um, if you're interested, make sure you're connected so that you don't miss any of these energies let me know in the comment section below what do you want to hear about what do you want to focus on for your birthday energy and i just keep on playing with it and just being creative i love you guys and i talk to you soon bye scorpios